So hello everybody and happy Monday. How are you today? In today's video we're going to talk about a EU Datathon 2020. Don't worry, it is worldwide, not just for the EU. We're going to talk about how to get European open data into Power BI so you can do cool visualizations and use it for your own benefits. And we will talk about Corona at the end. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what is the EU data zone? It is actually a very cool initiative by the European Union. I did something similar when I had Hack of Sweden. I don't know if you've seen it a few years back. And this is basically what it's about. So it is a competition intended to highlight the potential of linking data to promote innovation and business. Okay, so the objectives are to find sustainable approaches and solutions through the use of data to solve a solution or to create new opportunities, basically. So what they would like to have, the results should be a new original mobile web application, visualization or demonstration of applying data science by linking data sets for generating new insights. Okay, this is a cool thing about everything and it is that anyone can participate. So the EU Datathon is open worldwide, which is really, really cool. And it's for anyone who is interested in creating a profit and non-profit business model through data. There are some that cannot participate and you see it here. It's not open for staff working in the EU, institu EU institutions, agencies, bodies and partner partnering organizations. And finalists from previous EU Datathons cannot participate. A team can be composed of one or more individuals and one or more companies or legal identities. If you're a company, you can also participate, which is super cool. They have a list of challenges, the same that they had on the Hack for Sweden. And the challenges are here. European Green Deal, an economy that works for people, a new post... I will post a link, obviously, so you can read everything in detail. And a Europe, a Europe feed for the digital age. Uh, and here you have explanations and everything, and you are actually uh, competing for 12,000 euros at the glory, obviously. It was probably better than the 12,000 euros, 5,000 euros and 8,000 euros. You are still the applications for an idea. You don't have to have develop anything. The applications for an idea are on May 3rd, 2020, and I'm going to open on the Discord channel, a on a Discord server a channel for EU Datathon in case you guys want to join together and do some cool projects and, you know, present your applications in there so you can find yourselves, you know, if you can find like-minded people and do cool stuff. So go to the Discord server and join us and find the channel that is going to be called EU Datathon and then you can guys discuss anything there so, and then you can take it as well, you don't have to work it from there. So this is super cool. Now, now that you know that, I hope that you get inspired and you join. Uh, there is something else. They actually have created, this is something that I was looking for in the beginning of this pandemic, and it was a data set provided from the EU. We've been using the uh, Hopkins Hospital uh, data set, which is fine, but there should be official data sets that people can have access to, and they have finally done that. Here they have that as a part of the EU Datathon, they have actually put together a data set for um, the pandemic, the coronavirus, so you will be able to get worldwide data and also European data. And the, the competition is that it invites people to submit proposals, taking into account the situation and what they would like to have is different visualizations. How can we visualize the pandemic to get to fight it better. So if you have any ideas around that and you can do cool visualizations using Charticulator or Power BI or Tableau or anything you like, then you can submit it here and be a part of the competition. Okay, so here they explain, they had a webinar, they already had a webinar, it's in here, I will link down below so you can listen to, to it. And here they say they provide daily updates and they have guidelines for how to do stuff. They provide visualizations themselves, the, the typical ones. And here they have the data set, right? So if we click on there, this is where the Power BI tutorial starts. So if we click on there, you are going to see coronavirus and then they have blah, 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 blah. 
and everything they do they have download buttons for the data which I thought you were like oh my god can you just have like a REST API that doesn't require an authentication that would be the, the good thing to do <laughs> they don't they have a download button but I was inspired actually Imke posted this like this week or last week on how to actually download files from web pages automatically and it's super cool her case is not exactly the same because she's actually downloading the file and grabbing the stuff from here you can actually here you have a covid uh, cases worldwide in csv if you right click on here copy link address and then you just go to power bi i'm going to show you you go get data in case you want to participate you will see that but this should probably work with any open data source that you find on the EU platform. So you can just click in there and you can see from the link that it didn't have any specific data or anything, it was always the same. There you have the data. So you can just transform, if you need to transform, I, I, it was super clean actually, the best data set I've seen so far. So you have the date, day, month, year, the number of cases, the number of deaths, uh, the countries, you have a country code, hallelujah, and you have the population too, so this is super cool. So there you have some data, they have additional data like age and all kinds of stuff, but they said that they haven't curated that much and they will only give it to you if you ask for it. And if you go to their YouTube video, in here request custom data set you can actually see and if you ask them they will send you the information about age and sex and region and uh, previous illnesses and all that kind of stuff that probably i think is actually needed if you're actually going to do any meaningful analysis on this pandemic but let's leave that unsaid okay so now you know about the EU datathon go to our discord channel chat with people if you have some ideas or if you want to you know create ideas together create teams and join join the eu datathon it's actually quite cool you have the i will provide the link also for how to apply for it and now you know how to get the data for the coronavirus so just do something cool and amazing okay <laughs>